What's up guys, it's Korsha Lachelle and welcome back to the cookie jar. So, as y'all see by the title of the video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how I do my slick back bun. So I get asked this question all the time, like how do you do the slick back bun, right? So I did a small video on my Instagram page of how I do my edges. So if you don't follow my Instagram, follow my Instagram so you can see like some exclusive content over there, um, how I slick my edges down. But I was like, let me just do an in-depth video on how I do it on YouTube. I'm gonna start out with some shining jam on my hair and I'm gonna use my Easy Edges Edge Control. Sometimes I use gel, sometimes I use Gots to Be Spray, sometimes I use BTL. Yo, I'll be using a lot of different products. Whatever I have at the moment and whatever works for me is what I'm gonna have. So I'm choosing to do a middle part. Nothing perfect, nothing spectacular. My hair is not straight. So I'm gonna start by sectioning my hair into three sections. One like this and two in the front, one in the back. And I'm gonna start by taking my Shining Jam I haven't done a talk through tutorial in a long time. This is crazy. And I'm just gonna apply it to the back of my hair like so. Like all over. And then I'm gonna take it and brush it. And then once I get that laid down, I either take a rubber band, a hair bow, in this case, I'm gonna take a rubber band, and I'm just gonna put it into a ponytail like this, I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, and just wrap it as tight as I can, but be careful not to wrap too tight because you gotta remember you are gonna attach some braiding hair to it. And then when you attach the braiding hair to it, the braiding hair is also gonna make it tight. If you would like to see this done on blown out hair, let me know, I can do that too. If you guys want like a full tutorial on my edges, I can do that too. I mean, just let me know what you guys want. This is just content that's been requested. So of course I'm going to put this out. If you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and join the cookie jar and tell a friend to tell a friend to join the cookie jar. I'm so excited for Vlogmas this year. I'm trying to figure out, I have about 15 video ideas that I'm gonna do for Vlogmas. And then I need to come up with the rest. I'm gonna comb that out for later. So I'm just gonna brush this little piece into this little piece right here for later. And I'm gonna repeat the same on this side and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have both sides slicked down, I'm gonna take two small rubber bands, just wrap it around here to add it into the Big part, you don't have to use rubber bands if you don't want to. You can use whatever it is that you choose to use. This is what I'm choosing to do for my hair, which may not be the healthiest, but it works. All right, so now that I got my hair slicked down, I got my edges comped out, I'm getting ready to wrap my, um, wrap my bun. The hair that I use for my bun is this Expressions hair. It looks just like this. You can use any braiding hair that you want to. Some people say the braiding hair makes a difference. Honestly, if you know what you're doing, you can work with any braiding hair. So this is the color that I'm using. I think this is the color 2730. Sometimes I use 273613, but I use 2730 and it matches up perfectly with my hair because of the skunk strip that I added. And y'all know my natural hair color is 30. But I like to use the natural the rubber band that it comes with for the simple fact that it's just thick and I don't have to do anything. And I just simply take this and hopefully the camera don't cut off. Wrap it around like I did the rest of it. And put this over here off to the side. I kind of wrap it around my neck like this. Ooh, that was not a good angle of me, but what the freak ever. So boom, just like that, right? And then I'm gonna take my spray bottle just because my hair is a little bit puffy and I'm just gonna spray it on my hair just to kind of loosen it up a little bit so that it's not as puffy. And really you don't have to use the whole um, bundle of braiding hair. You can use half a bundle if you want a small bun and et cetera, et cetera. But I want a big bun, so I'm using the whole bun, okay? So I'm gonna turn around so y'all can see. And I put this like this and I put this like this and I just kind of spread it around my hair. Like nothing perfect, nothing crazy. It's much easier when you have straightened hair. And then I'll take a little piece of this, 
right here. And I use that to wrap it around my base. And I don't try to do it perfect for the simple fact that I know that I'm about to um, wrap more hair or wrap the bun. And what, at the end of the bun, with me wrapping the end of the bun, it's going to hide this piece anyway. So it don't matter if this piece is perfect or not. I take this and just wrap it around my hair pretty much. Like so, and then just start twisting. This is how I like to do it to make it look natural. Twist, twist, twist until you can't twist anymore. Until it kind of like starts to make a little loop for you to follow, you'll feel it. Twist, twist, twist. Until like pretty much your natural hair is hidden. And then you start to fold it. Literally like a knot. That I told y'all about this little piece. I'm just gonna wrap it and spray it and blow dry it. And sometimes I'll go through my flat iron and melt it and I'm good. I'll probably do my, um, what you call it, edges off camera, then I'll come back with the completed look. Okay, so this is the final look. I don't know if you guys can see it back there in the mirror. But I just went through and slicked my baby hairs. Again, if you guys want a full baby hair tutorial, oh, not the bump. But if you guys want a full baby hair tutorial, it is one on my Instagram page. But I could do one on here too. It really was nothing but like a little swoop de doo This is my hair, what it looks like without it being straight hair, flat iron, you know, none of that. Just straight out the curls. Let me give y'all another view of the bag. Let me see if I can give y'all a 360. Hold on. Okay, let's try this. I don't know how this shit got me lazy right now, yeah. Can't do work and set to my leg. I'm turning one and trying to leave it up. Yeah, right, right. here we go. Excuse my naked face. Let me take y'all back down. My naked face, I'm about to put some makeup on it because I'm about to do some product reviews, whatnot, or whatever. But yeah, hopefully, this video helps somebody. If you really like this video, y'all know what to do. Make sure y'all pound that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below what videos y'all want to see. Give me Vlogmas recommendations because I definitely need some. I love you, cookies. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you for requesting this video and interacting with my content on all of my social media platforms. They're right here. Everything is Corsula Show, so it's easy to find me. It's your girl, Corsula Show, checking in, checking out from the cookie jar.